Yo guys, what is up and welcome back to a brand new video here today and part two of the Italian GP race weekend here in my Formula 2 championship. The feature race was uploaded earlier on today guys, so if you haven't seen it, I will leave it linked up in the top right hand corner of your screen. So go check that out before we jump into any potential spoilers here today. But for the sprint race of course, the shorter of the two and uh, the, the top eight have been reversed. So we are starting this race from P4. We've got both of the Premers in front of us and also Jack Aitken. So we've got Galal to the left, Schumacher in front, and Aitken P1. The target of this race is to win it, because if we can win this, we'll hopefully make up for a disappointing start to the weekend after a very poor qualifying, and we can try and turn this around. Strategy-wise, of course, no pit stops, straight to the finish on the medium compound tyres, 11 laps ahead of us, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can have a good race. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it, and let's see how we get on here at Monza at the Temple of Speed. Right then, here we go. Let's see what kind of start we can get here as the lights are on. Lights out and away we go. And we've bogged down. It's not a good start. We've lost revs. Damn it, I tried a different technique. It completely backfired. And we're down to P11 as we go into turn one here. We're three wide. And oh my god, that's a big lunge there from Antoine Hubert. He loses a bit of front wing in the process. As uh, we're now down all the way down to P11. That is just an absolute disaster of a start. I tried something different. Slightly less revs on the start to try and get less wheel spin and it completely backfired. Uh, I just can't get a good start in F2. Simple as that. I mean, I can't redo it in F1. Uh, but the AI are just so good at starts in this game, period. Like, it's impossible to beat them, but that was one of my worst ones. Um, I just don't know what I could do differently to kind of get a better start than the AI. At least match them. That's something that I'd like. Just to be able to match them, that'd be pretty nice. But that has not happened yet. Either way, we're now down to P11, so we've got it all to do in this race. 11 laps ahead of us to try and get it back into the top eight to try and even score a point. So this is going to be a tricky race here today. Having said that, we're pretty close to Matsushita. If I can get the run out of here as we did in the feature race so often. Just getting the momentum out of there. Out of Ascari and now the race down towards Parabolica. We are struggling for straight line speed just like the previous race. But we're close enough to the point where I'm going to go for it on the brakes. Pretty safe move. Didn't break that late. As uh, we're still kind of getting used to the car on these tyres and we've got to burn some fuel off. But we're up to P10. We get back past Nobuharu Masashita. And there we go. I think Mick Schumacher's in the lead for Prema. That is incredible. As uh, we're now going to lap two, we've got loads of side by side here. We're going to use the little bit of space in front of us to kind of close up to the TV here. As we go through one and two. So I get the throttle down a little bit earlier. There we go. Right, let's try and work to get past the Canadian driver. Just kicking off in front. Latifi taking a very strange line into there. Kind of defensive in a way, not sure why. I wasn't even that close to him, but that's put me right on his gearbox now. And he's right behind Antoine Hubert, so this could be a double overtake here, possibly. Latifi is having a look. He's moving all over the place. I was going to go on the inside, but we have to kind of back off and uh, be patient. Try and get the power down through Parabolica. Let's see if we can tuck into the toe and try and get a move to turn one. Fastest laps being pretty much pumped in by everybody. We're nicely poised here for a move. DRS now enabled. What we're we going to do on the brakes, let's find out. Best believe that was going to be sent every day. There we go. Bit scruffy. Lost the back end slightly, but job done. Doesn't have to be pretty. P9, one more place, and we're in the points. And that next man is Latifi. Right, let's see. We're going to get an opportunity here. And the Premers are battling with Jack Aiken. Meanwhile, we're trying to find a way past Latifi. It's difficult to get the run because, as we know, the AI is so good on acceleration, so it makes it very difficult because the, the, the difference in straight line speed between these cars is very little compared to F1. So the exit speed is everything. That was a nice exit from us, actually, quite tidy. But because we're buried in a, a mass, just a car load of slipstream, we're not going to gain anything on the TV on the straight unless we send it on the brakes, which is what I've gone for. And there we go. That's where we're going to make up our positions this race. Up to P8, Giotto in front. The battle for the lead is really kicking off here. It's three wide, I think. They're not that fast. Aitken and the Premiers are really holding everybody up here, which is allowing kind of all this to happen. So we could still win this. I definitely think we can still win this, even with that terrible start. 
Let's see how close we can stay to Kyoto here. We may be able to have a little look into turn one on the brakes. Especially if the AR break really early, like they always have been doing around here in the race. We are losing a little bit now, but 335k is in an F2 car. Yep, this is being sent. Absolutely. Down the inside of Kyoto. The Vries is the next car. We're going to try and feather the throttle. Around the outside, Kyoto still hanging on. We're going to have the shorter line and the shorter one down to turn number four. Kyoto still hanging in there. It's close. Can I get across? Yes, I can. There we go. We cover off the inside line. Just enough to stop Kyoto from going for the overtake. And now it's Nick De Vries up next. If we pass De Vries, that's good news. We'll extend our championship lead because the set of camera is uh, nowhere to be seen today after that retirement in the first race. Looks like this Prima may, may have damage because he's really struggling for the pace. I think it's Sean Galal. I could be wrong, but I see the yellow on top of his helmet. Um, so I think it's Galal. Let's see, it's three wide here in front. This could get very ugly. Just going to back off. Bit of a lock up there from somebody. It is Galal. I can see the Pertamina sponsor on the back, which is his sponsor. We almost run to the back of the Vries there on the exit. And here comes Kyoto. He's going to pull alongside. We're going to try and use the slipstream here. This is what we want, the inside line. Galal goes down the inside. This is very, very close racing here. I think Sean has wing damage. Giotto has gone around the outside of all of us. But now we're traction up on the inside here, onto the pit straight. But look at this, we ain't got the slipstream, so it's kind of hard for us to find a way past. We're sharing the slipstream here on Sean Galal as we go down towards turn one. It's going to be the battle of the late breakers. What have we got in the tank? Not too shabby, but Galal's pretty good himself. And we're going to stay side by side with Giotto through the first couple of corners. We get a bit sideways on the exit there. Giotto's going to get the edge, as we know, with acceleration. But we're in the toes. So maybe we can get him back into turn four. Come on, come on. Let's try and edge closer. Had a look. And actually, De Vries has absolutely just done me around the outside. He's completely sent it. And he's pulled off a wild of a move, so fair play to the Vries there. That was a very nice overtake. And we're back down to P8 after that incredible sequence. Wow. De Vries is going for the move here on Sean Galal. Into Parabolica, I think. Sean has wind damage, I'm pretty sure of it, because he's struggling for pace. We get the traction down. Good acceleration from us there, you can see. We're quicker, because it's quite rare that we get a better acceleration than somebody. Problem is now we ain't got a slipstream, so we're kind of relying on just having the edge on the straight. Can we get past? Yes, we can. On the brakes. Big lock up there into turn one, but we get it done. And we're now P7 in this race. Four laps to go. I'm running at a very good pace. I'm four tenths up on my personal best, but because I don't have DRS, De Vries and also uh, Luca Giotto, they're just kind of leapfrogging each other and they're pulling away from me because of the straight line speed difference. So it's very hard for me to get back within a second. Mick Schumacher, new fastest lap, 130.6. The AI are definitely picking up their pace. I'm a second a lap slower compared to the Vries' previous lap, so uh, we've got to find something. Battle's going on everywhere, though, so we may still have a chance. Just got to be patient and wait for the opportunity. I don't think I've got the pace. I can't keep up here. And Latifi is hunting me down. I think we're going to have to hold on to P7 here. We're going to check if I wing damage. No, I don't. Just don't have the pace. I ain't got DRS, so it's very difficult for me to keep up. Latifi knew fast as that. So yeah, there you go. Look at the speed difference. Look at Latifi just close me down. We'll stay in front for now, but it's not going to last very long. Especially when I don't have DRS. Here comes Latifi. He might go for the move here. We're going to defend the inside. We show Latifi the long way around. But he's got the momentum with DRS. I'm just going to have to accept defeat. I might try and just stick with him and see if you can drag me along. Maybe that's a better way to do things. Because they are battling in front. They're going to bunch up again into a group of six. Here we go. Latifi's done the business. We've now caught up to these guys who are still battling. There's a battle for the lead between Schumacher and Aiken. And then there's a battle for third place. And we're all joining back up again. So we may still get a chance at this if we play our cards right. Famous last words. Famous saying, of course. Haven't said that in a while, but... Going on to the last lap, it could all still be to play for. Oh, kicking off. We run it in a bit hot on the brakes. But Giotto and Latifi, side by side here. Aitken 
is uh, currently P2, so Schumacher's on for the win, Raganathan is out, and also De Vries, I believe, is P3, so he's carved his way through, we're gaining on these boys, meanwhile, damn, they're so good on the race actually, I had to just accept that I wasn't going to make that move, I've got to find a way past it, and we've got Matsu Shita behind as well, still looking for a move, as we get the line wrong through there, that's not going to help, let's see if we can find something here, I'm going to not finish P8, a little bit wide, missed the apex, I need to be a lot lower than that. Could be in trouble here, Matsushita may get in on the action, he's gaining on us. I don't have the strongest toe, here comes Matsushita. Very late on the brakes, we just about get it slowed down, but that's going to ruin my line through there. We could be in trouble here. Matsushita's going to get the run down to the final corner. I'm going to try and pinch him a little bit to the outside if I can. Here we go to Parabolica, slow it down, it's going to be P8 for us, which is very disappointing, but we just didn't quite have the pace, it's as simple as that, who won it, that's the question, we'll find out in a minute, but across the line, it's P8. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. An incredible win for Campos, brilliant performance. Tell me, Davide, what was the key to this success? I think they kept a cool head. That's why they won today. Smooth, steady, everything bad that happened to them, they handled it calmly and professionally. That's what let them focus on getting the best out of everything else. The car, the strategy, they managed to keep out of trouble the whole way around. It's time to present the top drivers with their trophies for today's race, and there are a lot of people in the paddock very happy with this result. It's Campos on the top step. There we have it then guys, the results are in. Jack Aitken wins the reverse sprint race. Mick Schumacher misses out by 0.062 for Prima. And that could have been back-to-back -back sprint race victories because Galar won, of course, in Belgium. Nick De Vries gets P3 in the end, so he's going to pick up some big points in the championship. Guan Yu Zhou P4, Della Transfer, Giotto 6, Latifi P7, plus a fastest lap, so he gets four points. And we finish in eighth and score the final point. Missing out, we have Matsushita Bokolachi, set a camera from last to 11th. Good recovery from him in the end. Boshung P12, Mazepin, Calderon, Hubert, Alezi, Ilot, Galile, and Jordan King, with Mahavir Raganathan at the back out of the race. In terms of the driver standings after that and after this weekend as a whole, the top three are covered by 49 points, so just inside two race victories worth of points. And we've got four races left, two features, two sprints, one at, of course, the next race, Russia, and one at Abu Dhabi. So, um, yeah, four races to go, about give or take. If I do some quick maths, let me think, um, about 80 points up for grabs, so... Yeah, in the next race, we could potentially win the championship if things go according to plan. In terms of the team standings, we are 114 points behind Dams and Univertuosi now less than 10 points behind. So that is going to be a tricky one because they've got two strong drivers where it's only me pulling in the points for Chiruz. But guys, that is going to be it from me here today at Italy. And that was the sprint race. If you missed the feature, once again, it'll be linked in the top right hand corner of your screen. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like and subscribe if you are new guys as we get to the final stages of the season. So do check out the final episodes, guys. That's greatly appreciated. But also, uh, finally, guys, if you want to check out two videos on your screen, I would thank you very much for it as you might enjoy the content. But guys, that is going to be it from me here today at Monza. And I will see you all next time for the next feature race in Russia. But until then, let's goodbye from me.